All right, hey Aries. So I am doing a new versus old love read for you guys. All right, um, you're gonna know this is your read um, in, in regards to how you feel about love and the current situation with the past energy. So I'll be checking to see if there is contact, communication, whether it's nothing. So you guys are gonna know this is your read based off the how you feel about love and then the past situation. We're also gonna see what's coming in um, as far as fresh new energies. So everything um, that is unfolding for you guys, the intention is for the next three months, all right, from the date that you see this, okay? So if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. So we're pulling in to see the, the old versus the new. So if you guys are hanging on to the past situation, hoping that it returns um, and, and it, you know, you want to know if there's anything coming forward, that is what the intention is for this read. All right, so first I'm going to pull to see how it is you feel about love. So how you feel about love. All right. What do we got? We have the five of swords coming through. That's a lot of energy. All right. So I feel you guys showing up at the bottom. It's like really torn. All right. The two of wands, um, you know, that suggests God making a choice. Do I wait for the past? Do I take the other path, you know, the path and uh, just move forward and release it? That's where I feel like you guys are sitting at, um, you know, but with this, um, the five of swords where you were um, conflicted, I feel like that's just kind of absolved, right? So, you know, the five of swords is conflict and resolution. It's also um, separation, reconciliation. So if you held on to any um, negative energy when it comes to the past um, dynamics, I feel like that is being released because this card did actually show up in reverse. And I feel if anything, um, you guys are very much single. You're just like, hey, you know what? The person that's going to pour into me, I I'm going to give them that same respect. So Whoever is here, you like being single, okay? I feel like you like your peace, you like your space, um, but you do often wonder if it's what is coming next, what is coming in for you, okay? But it, it's it's uh, held, right, with a real positive outlook, I feel. Um, whereas maybe you, in the um, recent past, maybe those energies were not felt so much. Um, but I feel like you're coming out of that. You're ready for a new beginning, a new venture, you got like a fresh set of eyes when it comes to love. However, that is not what you're all here about. It's like if this person, the next person that steps in, if they do not come correct, they can keep on moving because I'm just fine. Maybe even some of you guys are just now getting to a place where actually single feels really good. Okay, so I'm going to pull and we're going to see what the current situation is with the past, with the past person. What is the current situation with the past? The current situation with the past for Aries. All right. So here's what I feel. All right. There has been, okay. If you, if this is not here yet, this, if this person has not entered, um, you feel that it, they're going to come back. You're feeling it in your bones, in your soul. You're going to feel it energetically. Okay. Um, the page of swords could indicate somebody spying, somebody kind of weaseling their way back in, not in a bad way, Gauging you, seeing where you sit at, okay? Um, this is a very curious card. So I feel like if this person has entered, they're just coming off as very curious. Um, I'm going to say genuine, but definitely, um, you know, it could be that you might be feeling a little bit like, hey, I'm not going to let you come all the way in just because, you know, this card also could represent breadcrumbing or all talk and no action, okay? So we have the four of wands showing up. This card coming through in reverse would tell me that you guys... Um, actually didn't quite make it to union. All right. But I do feel the dynamic. It's like unfinished business, unresolved um, uh, energy, but with the potential to heal. Okay. I, I feel like if you guys have not heard from this person, if they have not stepped in or tried to send you messages, tried to reach out, it, it's like here any day now, you can feel that energy. If this person has not already stepped out and said, Hey, I'm sorry. Okay. That's what I look at this. Um, I, I, I'm going to offer you a, an olive branch. All right. Um, I feel, you know, with the four of wands coming through, you know, as far as this is the current situation, I just feel like you guys never made it quite to where, um, you know, if there was a goal, a common goal in mind for union, it was not met. But I do feel like that energy is currently, if it's not that you're energetically healing it, right, it means that this person is here and you're physically healing that between you and them. Okay, and if they have not stepped in yet, um, you can feel that change coming. You feel it greatly. So let's just see what the shared energy is between you and the past. The shared mutual energy. 
What do we have? Look at that. The three of coins coming through the ten of cups. Look at that. I know I made the wrong decision. Okay. This is deep soul energy right here. I do feel that energy with the two of wands. You guys know that. Um, but the mutual energy um, felt between you. Yeah. Somebody definitely made a mistake, made, uh, walked away from the connection, made a choice to go off somewhere else. Okay. But choices are choices, whatever. Okay. I feel like you both are in communication, wanting to communicate, if not currently communication, currently communicating. Um, you know, this right here is like making plans to get together. Okay. Um, or you can feel, you sense it, you sense it very strong. You know, it's like you, whoever is here, you just know without a doubt, this person is on the verge of returning, um, rebuilding or having a desire to rebuild the connection and find what was once happiness between you. So let's just see if this person, um, is fully coming back in. Are they fully coming back in? What do we have? Look at that to balance the scales. Yeah. We got the strength card. So again, mustering up the courage to come through, connect with you, talk to you. Um, you know, I feel like you're representing the queen of cups right there. Um, because you know what your energy, um, even distance, even in distance, um, distance and you know where there's no communication absence the distance and absence um i feel like you know for you to get to the energy that you're in now about how you feel about love um you get to a certain point and then automatically you, you know something that's starting to happen something's starting to, to transform and change and i feel like that's what um this connection needed to see in order for it to um, have the balance brought back to it so i do feel like this person is coming through all right it's almost like we had to let go of the outcome in order to see a new shift all right, so let's just see what their what the potential is for this connection to fully heal and move forward when this person comes back through all the way. We have the two of uh, coins coming through. We have the queen of wands and we have the page of swords. All right, so I'm going to say this. As far as potential, I, I do feel like it is there, but it's time to be open and honest about how you feel, especially when it comes to the past. Especially if you guys are looking towards the future, which I'm going to pull right now. Okay, the potential, I'm going to say this, it's almost like you guys have already met somebody new and that could be where this um, two of pentacles is triggering the I don't know what I really want right now effect um, as far as long-term potential um, because it could be that everybody right now has their eyes on you and you know that you can make connections outside of this person. You don't need them, which I feel is where you've had to heal and grow from when it comes to the past and how you felt about the connection delayed new starts delayed new beginnings um, but you know what you guys are the ones that are leading the show at this point okay so let's just see what about the new energy that's coming through um, the current energies um, surrounding the new person that is coming in look at that queen of swords all right wow you guys like y'all got some deep you, there might be some confusion when it comes to this um, situation that you guys are in we have um, the Queen of Swords coming through. That's uh, represented by Libra. Um, you got the Lovers card. You got uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius all showing up right here. Y'all could be dealing with an air sign or, yeah, air sign for sure. Okay, so as far as a new person stepping in, it could be, hey, you know what? The soulmate that you dealt with when it comes to the past felt good. But remember, they're coming through as that page. Okay, this new person enters. And even if they're not here yet, um, gosh, you know, this is, that's real beautiful. I mean... I feel like the biggest hiccup that comes with this is um, maybe the person of the past putting thoughts and impressions into your mind um, as you are healing. I want another chance. I want another chance. Let me prove myself to you. And that could be where you're kind of um, really kind of, it's like the external energy is that past person. Um, the, the, and you guys could actually already be involved with this new dynamic and you feel so strongly about it, but it's like the past comes through. Is it a test? Right? Is it a test? Well, you've seen how that potential could play out here. The Page of Swords, I see as somebody who could have an attitude, like if they're, if you're not making a decision quick enough, or if you're just not really giving them the 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 um the inch that they're asking for because they take a mile, you gotta you you need to let all that soak in, okay? Because the current energy that surrounds the new is soulmate, 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 okay? I want to see what, and if, even if they're not here yet, all right. Don't let the past person deter you from meeting this new connection because this is beautiful. Don't let them get in your head. I want to see what you can expect with the new person that will be coming through for you guys. The new person. All right. What you can expect. Wow. Look at that. And I, I seen the Empress too. Okay. So this is definitely going to be a soulmate. Probably stronger than what you have felt in the past. This person comes through to show you that love still exists. 
they're not here to hurt your feelings. They're not here to break your heart. They're here to help push things forward, work things out, work together. And I feel like, you know, call in that common goal, which is like, let's build together. We both feel this bond. It's, it's very, very strong in between us. Um, this person wants to come through, you know, and, and it's like, let me give you a, 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 a sense of calmness, peace, stability, serenity. Let's build together. Let's grow together. All right. Let's manifest it and create together. That's what this emperor represents. So um, again, you guys, you have free will. You get to make the choice. Um, and, and that past person might come through very, very strong in that heart space, but you got to do what's best for you. Keep that in mind. So let's just see what the shared um, energy to be experienced is when you guys um, connect full on and meet the shared mutual energy. Yep. You guys, look. Uh-huh. Wish fulfillment to the max. You got the happily ever after card. The seven of swords showing up in reverse. Okay. Both really, really feeling a strong pull to the connection. Both maybe having some insecurities. I don't want to get my heart broken again, but you know what? It's worth it. Let's put our heart, let's put the heart, let's, let's put it out there. That's what I feel you guys are going to experience a hesitation at first, but ultimately I feel like you're going to feel the, the connection way stronger with this new person. And how exciting is that to be off? All right. Within the new. Okay. So I'm going to leave it right there. We're going to pull some initials to see who's coming through here. If, the, if you guys do not resonate or the initials, I'm sorry, are not yours. Um, just know that the, the cards, the energy of the cards is where it's at. Okay. So S O N D and C I coming through Aries. I'm leaving it there. You guys, good luck with everything. Take care.